Once upon a time, there was a young mermaid named Stella. She was a princess under the sea with a voice so beautiful that she would captivate anyone who heard her sing. Her father, King Poseidon, always made sure his daughter had everything she needed. However, Stella wished for something her father could never give her, the love of a young sailor. Stella fell in love with that handsome human, and even though her father forbade it, the young mermaid would swim to the surface every evening to sing to him from her secret hiding place. Mm? The boy fell deeply in love with her beautiful voice, and he would ask himself, who was that mysterious singing woman? La, la. Mm. Meanwhile, in the depths of the ocean, the witch Medusa who was an old enemy of the king, had discovered Stella's secret. Having been exiled by Poseidon from the kingdom for years, finally she would have her revenge. Medusa plotted her evil plan. She made a deal with the little mermaid. She would make her human for 30 days, in which time Stella would have the chance to win the heart of the sailor. In exchange, I want only your voice, added the witch. What Stella ignored was that if she didn't succeed in winning the heart of the young human, she would die. With a burst of black magic, Medusa turned her beautiful mermaid tail into a pair of legs and stole her voice. Although with great difficulty, Stella finally reached the surface. When the sailor saw the young woman in the ocean struggling to swim, he threw her a rope to rescue her. Hmm? Oh, oh! The young sailor turned out to be an adventurous prince. When he saw Stella so helpless, lost, and mute, he decided to take her home. He invited her to stay with him and live in his castle. Even though it seemed that the love between them was growing with each passing day, 
The prince could not forget that beautiful voice he had so often heard. One day, the evil witch transformed herself into a beautiful young woman and used Stella's voice to bewitch the prince. The prince quickly fell under the spell of that mysterious maid and asked her to marry him. The wedding was to be celebrated on the last of the 30 days that Medusa had given Stella as a human. Sad and alone, the girl was walking the shores of the beach when she heard someone calling out her name from the waves. Who could it be? <laughs> Stella's friends had told King Poseidon everything that had happened. After a stern reprimand, the king held his youngest daughter in his arms and promised to find a solution. <laughs> the king quickly swam out to the boat where the wedding was to be celebrated. He rose up on a great wave and threw a powerful lightning bolt, turning the witch into a weak little crab. When the prince discovered that the beautiful voice actually belonged to Stella, he asked her to marry him. But after all that her father had done for her, Stella felt that her true home was under the sea with her family. La, la. <laughs> The king knew that Stella's heart was divided. His little girl would never be happy that way. The prince eagerly accepted the chance to be turned into a merman without a second thought. That's how that young couple came to live happily ever after. Hmm. <laughs> 